The first is a boot taking our citizens. It's a boot not censoring our art. It's a boot. It's a boot. What's so goddamn funny? Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And uh, here is a interesting article that I came across in regards to the United States and Canada. Should they merge? This is dated uh, from last year. But again, uh, for those of you who follow me on this channel, this is this this series is not about the latest and greatest and whatever news just happens to be stuff that I come across that I find interesting that I decide, eh, why don't I just share this with, with my viewers? And well, this is just one sort of thing. Should the U.S. and Canada merge? This is an interesting idea. Um, I'll just tell you my opinion right now. No. <laughs> A merger between the United States and Canada might not be as crazy as it sounds. In fact, due to their unparalleled cultural, political, and social compatibility, the United States and Canada are perhaps the countries best suited to eliminate their borders and unite under one flag. Well, yeah, I can understand that. With a shared language, with the exception of the French-speaking Quebec, Quebecois, never heard that word before, a nearly identical culture, a shared colonial history, and identical Western values, the United States and Canada have far more in common than some parts of the United States has with itself. Um, yeah, that's like Canada and the rest of the United States, or not Canada, California and the rest of the United States. In 2012, nearly 3% of Canadian-born citizens resided in the United States. An additional 30,000, 40,000, blah, 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 blah. Um, although cultural stero stereotypes by Canadians and Americans alike often highlight our differences, the two cultures are far more similar than most give them credit for. Um, for most key measures, including attitudes about health care, religion, government, and individuality, are surprisingly similar. Uh, in terms of human development and quality of life, the United States and uh, Canada are nearly indistinguishable. In 2016, United Nations Development Program gave the U.S. and Canada identical scores for levels of human development. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So with all these similarities, what would a union between the U.S. and Canada look like? It would look like this. <laughs> While a merger between the United States and Canada would take multiple forms, the easy scenario to conceptualize is one in which Canada joins the United States as the 51st state. That would be one big freaking state. <clears throat> Are you going to tell me they're going to do away without their provinces, Alberta and British Columbia? I know. I can see maybe each of them being individual states. You know, like Canada itself wouldn't be there, but like Alberta and stuff, you know, those provinces would each be states. But anyway, although unequivocally the largest in terms of size, a Canadian state would only be the second largest in terms of population. Behind California and the third largest in terms of GDP behind California and Texas, Thus, a 51st Canadian state would be a considerable addition, but would not supersede any existing states in power or wealth, etc., etc. Um, the U.S. and Canada show the world's largest border, spanning nearly 4,000 miles from Washington to Maine. Um, and it just kind of goes into... It's not too long of an article. I was going to kind of summarize, but... One of the primary uh, difficulties with such a merger would be the need to reconcile the United States presidential government system with Canada's parliamentary system. This is exactly why a merger is not going to happen. Furthermore, although the United States and Canada have more in common than not, the Canadian political spectrum leans further left than the United States. For the moment. A study conducted by the Social Progress Imperative listed Canada as the seventh most socially progressive country in the world while the U.S. was 16th. And there are people in Canada who love their country just the way it is. And they look at the United States and see a huge convoluted mess. And the last thing they want is 
for their country to be part of that mess. I'm not saying that Canada doesn't have a mess of their own. No government is perfect and every country has got their mess. I just think the United States has more of a mess than anyone else. <clears throat> um, but what I found interesting was this last paragraph here. And I'm not including this thing down here. The specter of the ma malevolent China dominating world politics and determining international outcomes might just be motivation enough. In fact, a union between the U.S. and Canada could be the best way to ensure the continued strength of the West and the rules-based international system. I can see this. I can see the motivation of this. But you don't have to have one big country for that. You can have different countries that are united for the same cause. They're called allies. And as far as I remember, Canada and the United States are allies with each other. And they're not at war. They're allies. Just, um, you know, we're not at war with Mexico. At least not yet. <laughs> so there's no reason why if there's going to be a problem on one side of the world why the United States, Canada, and Mexico wouldn't unite together as allies to protect themselves. So you don't really need one whole big country to do that. Um, anyway, that, that that's it for this article. I don't want to get into it too much, but um, what do you guys think of this? Um, did you know about this? Did you know that this was a, a, a thing? Um, you know, are you from the U.S.? Would you want Canada a part of the U.S.? Um, are you from Canada and would you want to be part of the U.S.? I mean, there are people from Canada who work in the United States. And there are people in the United States who work in Canada. So uh, should their border be removed and uh, everything just be one country? I don't know. What do you think? Me personally? No, I don't think so. I I think Canada should be left alone because they have their own culture. And I don't think the United States needs to go in there and corrupt it. Um, there are things that uh, are going on in Canada that work really well. I don't think the United States needs to go in there and corrupt it. And I am in the United States, so in case you're wondering. Uh, just listen to my, my voice and my American accent, uh, if if anything. But anyway, uh, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. And as always, I will have links to the article in the description field. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing because I have videos on just uh, tons and tons of stuff. Just things that I come across that I find interesting, fascinating, weird, uh, what have you. Um, plus, I do flight simulator videos, I've got some Minecraft videos, some gaming videos, and uh, I even have music videos that I've been putting together. So, a whole bunch of stuff that's on this channel. So, subscribe, and you'll know when I put a new video up. But other than that, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you on another rambling video.